I just wonder whether we could get some, some thoughts on just the prospect of, of playing in this competition, being invited to join it, playing England and Twickenham in the first game, first time ever for, for Georgia. Um, just from just, just thoughts from all, all different perspectives, please. Uh, obviously, we're very happy and very excited to be part of this A Nations. First of all, it's a big responsibility for us, and then it's a great opportunity to uh, show ourselves and basically to get as much experience as possible. Uh, yeah, that, that's the biggest opportunity for us. Uh, as as uh, Mayor said, it's a good chance to show, uh, just challenge our uh, ourselves and uh, play rugby and just step by step improve our rugby quality and play against the uh, <coughs> rugby World Cup uh, fi uh, finalists against, against, uh, against England uh, and I think it's the biggest opportunity for us. Mera, why is it responsibility? Can you maybe expand on, on that sense of responsibility and, and explain why? Uh, yeah. First of all, a lot of people are watching. A lot of people have been uh, working hard to be at some stage to be part of this this kind of tournament. A lot of players, a lot of people who's working for the Rugby Georgian Rugby Federation, and it's not people who just work for that for one or two years. It's been I don't know twenty and ten and a lot of years. Everybody's been working hard, so now we are the ones who have opportunity to play this, this this tournament and a lot of supporters expect good game from us and obviously it's a huge, huge responsibility. Yeah, and is it as much about sending a message for the future as delivering on the on all the work that's gone in the past? Yeah, obviously, obviously we wanna um, sh we wanna be uh, we want to have the best performance we can possibly have and basically for the future maybe the teams, the big teams and the tournaments and people who decide stuff will see that we might get, we might deserve better chances in the future as well because as we know this tournament is not permanent and we've still only been confident for one year at the moment so always want to show the world that we, we can play better than they, they think. Yep. So, Mara, can I just just ask? Can you just take a picture of um, how how popular uh, rugby is back home in Georgia and the kind of sense of mood of the country this weekend when you play England? Well, back back home, rugby is very popular. A lot of people love rugby. A lot of people love rugby players. Um, they uh, like what they see. I mean, they love the attitude that. Georgian rugby players have, they love fight we have, and uh, they expect basically uh, good performance from us. They, you can, we, we know that we plan, we're facing the, one of the best teams in the world and it will be very hard to win the games, but what our supporters and what are we from ourselves want is the, to be the best version of ourselves. and. The same, the, the crowd is waiting for us to be best version of the Georgian rugby. Mara, could, could you talk about the, your time at Harbury and, and playing with Johnny Hill and, and Ellis Genge? Yeah, 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 that was quite a good, very good experience. They're very good boys and they're a good friend of mine. And I wish them best of luck. I learned a lot, a lot from them, and we had a few years, very good few years together. Did you see their potential when you played with them at uh, Harvey? Did you see them being international? Uh, what would it be like yeah, to get to Both of them were quite special. Uh, I remember, probably Johnny doesn't even remember that, but we were going together in college, same time as playing for the, the Hartford College team. And one day he was, he was a little upset about something, I can't remember what, and he was like, oh, he was saying that he would probably never make it to the big rugby. I was looking at him like, I was like, oh, just wait, you will be one of the best in the world. And he probably doesn't remember, he even remember that, but I remember that very well. So he deserved that and he's one of the best players in the world now. And the chance to play against him and Ellis on Saturday, 
it makes it even more special against Yeah, them. that's very special. It's very exciting. And I'm very happy to, that I will see them again, especially on the pitch. Uh, no, what, are you, what are you expecting from England? England have said that they're expecting a very physical game. Is that what you're expecting on Saturday? Yeah, obviously. Well, I imagine every game against England is very physical. So we want to be physical as well and we want to improve from what we did two weeks ago against Scotland. We, we, we want to basically play a better game. And, and what, would, what would represent success for Georgia throughout this competition, do you think? Uh, as I've said, to probably to be best version of Georgia, best version of ourselves, best version of the team we can possibly be. And I would say improvement will, would be if we, when we finish this tournament and we, if we know for sure, as Levan, Levan has said that a lot of times to us, if we, when we finish this tournament and we know that we are a better team than we were before, start, before this tournament, that means we have had very successful eight nations. And I'm pretty sure we will, we will be quite motivated and we hope for the best. Now, where, where do you feel that you can improve from that Scotland performance and where, where have you kind of prioritised getting better from that game? Uh, well, the coaches have done a lot of analysis about that. The main thing is we want to be more physical. Uh, as we, against Scotland it was at least, I don't know, eight or seven months some the team have played together. So they, there was a lot of things that we have to improve, like defense of the mole, defense generally in the game, and a lot of things like that. But mainly, I would say, the small tactical and technical stuff, what does make difference in the game, we have to improve that. I in, in 2015, when you played Eddie Jones in Japan, he, he put um, <coughs> forward in the backs. Did you have much memory of that match and yeah, I remember that they had Ford on the wing, I think. Yeah, that was quite quite weird, <laughs> but obviously this the this the some kind of tactic as well. Uh, we we know how to face that, and now it's not won't, not not gonna be needed. And basically, it's, we basically what we do what the coaches what Levan tells us all the time. We not we supposed we supposed to and we need to concentrate on ourselves more than our opponent, so we try to do that. Doesn't matter what we're facing, we still need to do our job as best as possible. Just looking back to that game, what, what was it like facing a team with an extra forward on the win? Uh, to be honest, I, I wouldn't say it was a like, big difference. It was, we, we knew it before the game, and it was quite di different to the other thing, other thing but I, I, don't, I wouldn't say there was something very special. Like you don't, you don't notice that that much as a opponent. Maybe when you play with the forward and in your team you have extra forward on your on your wing, then that would make a difference. But when you're playing against them, it's not that much difference. Levan, can, can I ask what the, what the challenge is like for a coach when you know your Play it when you know you're facing up to somebody like Eddie Jones as a kind of opposite coach. Uh, it's a good good opportunity. Uh, Eddie, Eddie is a best best coach. It's it's a fact. Uh, uh, play uh, just to play against uh, England is also a biggest opportunity. It's too hard, but. It's a it's a good for for uh, players, good for me, and also very interesting. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Here yeah, comes the French question. Um, you just left uh, Aurillac when you spent uh, six seasons. Uh, according to you, what role have the uh, French clubs played in developing the national uh, Georgia team? Oh. They play quite a big role because a lot of uh, our main players that play in France, me and myself, I was playing in France as well. Um, it's a big part of our development, big part of our experience, and basically, as I said, a lot of players learn a lot of things from French rugby. 